Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this eye look right here. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this eye look, then please keep watching. Ah, oh my god, I almost made a huge mess. That would have sucked. Okay, so I'm going to start this video off again with a mask. I filmed a video yesterday. I don't, it'll probably go up before this video, but um, I used the same mask, but it was a black one and I really liked it. So I'm going to use the pink one today and I'm going to mask while I do my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. Don't you just love a glitter mask? I do. It just makes it so much more exciting. <laughs> this one is from Wet n Wild. It is the, what is it? The Tone It Up Brightening Glitter Mask. And I'm pretty sure it's a peel off mask. The black one that I used yesterday, it was so strong, but I felt like it totally like took out all the gunk in my skin, on my skin. So I like to do peel off masks. They're my favorite. I mean, they're fun, come on. They're so fun to peel off. And I usually I usually just do them in my t-zone area because that's where I have the largest pores and the most clogged pores so I'm just gonna do it right here in my t-zone area I'm not gonna put it anywhere else just here I also like to do this while um I like to have a mask on while I do my eyeshadow because if there's any fallout all of the fallout is gonna fall on top of the um mask so like a win-win you know you know um new backdrop darker in color it's gray instead of white i feel like the white was like washing me out so we'll see how i like this one i miss my colored backgrounds maybe i'll go back to those someday okay i'm just gonna go ahead and do the brow style that i've been doing lately which is the soap brows so i just take this big bar of soap wet it with some setting spray i filmed a more in-depth video about this by the way so if you're interested in like learning my in-depth brow routine and like why i do what i do and how exactly i do it then you can check that out but i'm just gonna do my eyebrows real quick and then um i will come right back to start this eye look brb okay brows are done if you're wondering i used my urban decay brow blade in the shade dark drapes and i'm now going to prime my eyelid so that we can get this eyeshadow look going um to prime my eyelids i'm just going to be using some concealer i'm going to be using the smashbox studio skin um flawless 24 hour concealer and i'm just going to apply a little bit of this to each eyelid just right there in the center i don't like rub it all over because a little bit is going to go a long way and then i'm going to take my morphe e8 brush and just buff this all over the lid for today's eyeshadow look i'm going to be using the morphe uh james charles palette which is so dirty and my little puppy my beautiful little puppy boy was um chewing the corner i'm going to start with this shade right here this is a purpley shade i think that's the shade i want to do i might switch back to the one next to it but this should be good um all these shades have names and this palette came with a um a name thing in it. I don't know if this is dark enough for what I want. Hmm, let's see. I've heard mixed reviews about this palette, by the way. And I used it in a different video. My red eyeshadow look. And I really, really like the red eyeshadow in this palette. But this one, um, oh, this should be good. But anyways, I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner of my eye and just start blending it out. Okay, so I'm just taking this purple shade on the outer corner of my eye. Um, oh, by the way, I'm using a Morphe M433 brush to blend this out and I'm just blending it out. I'm kind of bringing it out into like a V shape, cat eye shape, dragging it out towards the outer tail end of my brow because that's what I like to do. And I'm just blending and blending and blending and then I'm just gonna bring it in a little ways, about halfway in on my lid. I'm just blending and blending and blending and blending some more. And then I'm going to take the Too Faced All Over Shadow brush. This has no product on it. And I'm just going to use this to just lightly buff the edges of the shadow. There's no harsh lines. Just further buffing this out. Blending. I want it to be really nicely blended. Don't you guys love this little handheld mirror? It's so cute. <laughs> 
Okay, I think I might want to darken that purple in a little bit, but I'm not going to do that right now. If I do deepen this purple with like a darker purple shade, I will do it at the end. So once I get this eyeshadow blended the way I want it, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to dip into this pink shade right here. This is a very bright hot pink shade. So pretty. Ooh, it's very bright. Okay, and I'm taking that on the same brush that I used for the purple, and I'm just going to pack this onto my lid in, like, the very middle. Yeah, just, like, right here in the very center. And I'm just going to pack it on. I'm not blending it yet, just packing it onto the lid. Mmm, pretty. Um, but anyways, what else is going on? Just being a mom, you know? Doing all my mom duties. Oh, I don't know if you watch my vlogs at all, but I kind of just have, like, mediocre, just for fun vlogs. And I've always vlogged so far like I have a lot of vlogs. I have like 12 vlogs or something Which is kind of a lot actually and it was actually like a lot of work to do all those vlogs But um, I've done like 12 vlogs and I filmed them all on my um, iPhone and it was fine in the beginning, but it's not working out for me anymore So I actually went and got a new vlogging camera and I haven't used it yet But I'm really excited because it's like it's nice you guys. It's nice. So if you like my vlog, stay tuned for that. Also, what else have I been up to? Oh, um, Easter was great. I don't know if you celebrate Easter, but I do. And we just had a really good time at home with the family and um, just, you know, had a nice Easter dinner here with everybody. And my grandparents came over and it was just really nice to be with family and spend time together and enjoy each other's company. So that was nice. And then, um, I don't know if you know, but I've got, I got a new puppy a few weeks ago and he has just been such a dream he is such a dream dog like oh my god he's such a good boy and I have my other dog still Rosie but she is just I love her but she's insane she's so crazy oh my god the other day so actually Easter morning um like six no like 5 30 a.m I'm woken up to like a crashing sound like something shattered I immediately knew it was glass shattering this dog opens the cupboards and she goes in the cupboards. I know she doesn't do this on purpose, obviously, but she got into the cupboard and broke a huge, like, thick glass mixing bowl that I had all over. It's glass all over the kitchen. Like, great. That's exactly how I want to wake up. Anyways, go downstairs. She's freaking standing in the kitchen chewing on glass. Like, this dog is insane. So, quickly, I'm like, okay, I need to, like, put her in a confined space so I can clean it up without her getting hurt. And, um, stick her in the garage, okay? Because that's, like, the safest place I can think of. Go into the garage because it's quiet, and I'm like, oh my god, what is she getting into now? Homegirl is in in the washing machine because I accidentally left the lid of the washing machine open and I did not even think that my dog would she's not a big dog she's like a small slash medium sized dog and anyways never would have thought that she would ever go into the washing machine it's a like a top load it's not a front load washing machine it's a top load washing machine so anyways go into the garage to make sure she's not getting into something else and homegirl is in the washing machine she's safe it's not on there's no way she could turn it on well actually I don't know she maybe could but <laughs> knowing her but anyways so yeah and then she couldn't get out because um it like you know like the barrel in the washing machine moves so like she's like trying to get out but she can't because it keeps like almost as if she was in like a hamster wheel you know the barrel keeps moving so she can't like get her grip to like jump out oh my god she's just insane she's an insane dog but we love her we still love her also saw my dad and my little brother the day before easter that was really nice to see them and spend time with them and my stepmom i love them they're rad um okay i'm just blending so i'm just going back in with a little bit of that purple and just kind of smoothing out the purple area blending it a little bit and then I am I'm gonna go back in with this all over shadow brush from Too Faced and I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of this like off-white skin tone nude color and I'm just gonna blend these edges a bit just to soften them a little bit more I always go back and like soften and blend edges throughout my looks just to keep everything looking nice I'm going to do it on this side too. 
okay. Okay, so I'm gonna dip back into the palette and I'm gonna dip into this yellow shade right here. I'm not sure this is the brush that I really wanna use because it's kind of like a fluffy brush and I would like one that's not as fluffy, but this is the Morphe M441 brush and I'm taking some of that yellow and yeah, that's not the brush I wanna use. So I'm actually gonna use this brush, the All Over Shadow brush from Too Faced that I've been using to soften and blur the edges and I'm gonna pack on some of the yellow shade right here in the inner corner portion of my eyelid. I'm just going to connect that to the pink, kind of blend those two shades together a bit. It's going to turn a little orange, but that's okay. And I'm just going to pack this yellow shade on, and then I'm going to blend upwards into the rest of the look to blend those colors together. There's always one side that looks better than the other. Okay, I am going to go back in with this fluffy brush that I was originally going to use, and I'm just going to use this to kind of blend the edges up here in, like, the socket of my eye. And I'm going to blend it inwards like this, and I'm going to do that on both sides. I've also been having the sudden urge to, like, redo my room completely, which I feel like I just did that, like, maybe a little over a year ago. <laughs> But I'm just, you know, I just want to do something new, you guys. Ready for change. I think that's it, is I'm just ready for change. Just ready for change all around. Okay, what else? What else am I going to do? I'm going to go back in with some pink and kind of just touch up this area where that pink shadow is and just really blend it in to that yellow. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm taking the same purple shade and just deepening this outer corner with the purple. Blending the pink with the purple. I'm using like back and forth motions with this little brush and this is the Morphe M562 brush. I literally use these brushes all the time and I still don't know the number of each brush like by heart. I always have to look at it. <laughs> it's so sad, huh? Okay, so just blending the edges, making sure everything is nice and blended. That looks nice. And then I'm going to go back in and blend this area a little bit more. I'm just using the all over shadow brush that I use to apply the yellow shade and whatever yellow product is left on this brush, I'm just blending it with the pink. That looks nice. That's good. That's good enough. Okay, I think I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to dip into this darker purple shade right here. This is the one I have been using, but I'm just going to deepen it a little bit with this darker purple. And I'm taking this on the M562 brush because it's little and allows me to be more precise. And I'm just going to deepen this area. I'm focusing this in the outer corner portion of my eye where the purple is and then blending it so it meets that pink. I'm using a super light hand. Okay. Okay. I also kind of want to add some glitter to the yellow part, but I don't know if that's going to be too much. I'm just going to do it anyways. Okay. I'm going to be using this Metallist Liquid Glitter Topper. This is from Touch of Soul, and it comes in these this cute little packaging, which is cool because it's three different colors, and you just pull out the one that you want. The one I'm going to use today is this white one right here, um, and it has like glitter in it that has a gold reflect, so that should be good for over top this yellow. So I'm kind of nervous about this because I don't want to mess up this look. Anyways, I'm just going to put this, I'm just going to start dabbing it onto the yellow portion of my eye, just right here in the inner corner, and I'm just using the applicator that it comes with, and I'm just tapping it on to this area, just right here in the inner corner, and I'm hoping it doesn't remove any of the eyeshadow. Oh, is my mirror blocking it? I'm so sorry. And then I'm gonna put it in the, like, very, very inner corner of my eye, just to, like, brighten up my eyes a little bit. Maybe I won't get too crazy with this. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. Okay, so just... Maybe I should use my finger. I'm really afraid that it's gonna like, um, cause it's kind of like wet. So I'm afraid it's gonna mess up the eyeshadow. It kind of is. Oh crap. So I'm, um, tapping out like the excess with my fingers. <laughs> okay. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna put any more. Maybe just a little bit more. I'm doing this very, very slowly. My nails are kind of long right now, so it's kind of hard to get my finger in there. Okay. That should be good enough. It kind of makes it look a little more exciting. And I'm trying to only focus this in the area that the yellow eyeshadow is at. Okay, that's good enough. Does that look okay? That looks okay. That's kind of fun. It's kind of like a butterfly. It reminds me of a butterfly. Okay, um, so that's pretty much... Oh, no, no, no. Let's do the eyelashes first. What lashes do I want to wear? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Hmm, what are my choices? Um, I think I want to do something like, kind of wispy. Let's do these ones. These are always good. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to be doing the uh, House of Lash Ethereal Light Lashes. So I'm going to pop these on really quick, and I'll be right back. Uh, okay, eyelashes are on. Love these lashes. House of Lash, Ethereal Lash. So wispy and beautiful. Um, anyways, um, I'll finish the rest of my eye look after I finish my foundation. Let's peel this mask off, you guys. Oh, these ones are so strong. Ow. <laughs> it hurts. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. Ow. It's like, give me the chills, kind of. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's off. Oh my god, that was gnarly. I feel like it gives me nice results though, so that's good. Um, I need a, oh yeah. I'm just going to take a cotton pad and a little bit of my micellar water. I don't even know how to say that. And I'm just going to use this to wipe off the leftover mask that didn't get peeled off with everything else. Ooh, sometimes these masks can leave a little bit of residue, especially if they're not fully dry. I don't think the thicker edges of this were fully dry, so why that happened. And there's like a little bit of fallout underneath on my lower lash line, so I'm just gonna wipe that away. My skin feels detoxed <laughs> and tight. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's move on to the face. So I need a little bit of moisturizer. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream for moisturizer today. I'm just gonna take a little bit onto my face and then massage that in with my fingertips. Okay, so who uses this? Because I've only used it a few times. It's a really good moisturizer. It smells like sunscreen, but there's no Nothing on the package that says there's SPF in it. So is there SPF in it? I guess I can like look it up online, but does anyone know? Because it feels and it smells like sunscreen. <laughs> but it doesn't say SPF on the packaging, so I'm not sure. But all I know is that I like it as a moisturizer. I don't really like the scent. But yeah, it doesn't say anything about SPF, so mm, I don't know. And I threw the box away a long time ago, so... I don't know. I guess I'll have to look it up online. Um, I went to Costco yesterday and I got these bars called like Owen or whatever. It stands for only what you need. They're really good. They're like, looks like pumpkin seeds or something, but uh, they're so good for like a little protein bar. I don't know how good they are for you, but I lock up. I lock it a lot. Mm. Okay, for primer, I'm going to be using this one. This is the No Pore Blem Primer from Touch and Soul. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my fingertips, and I'm going to focus it in my T-zone area first, because that's where I have the largest pores, and then I'm just going to drag the rest of it all around my face, just to smooth everything. I really like this primer. I got it in a BoxyCharm box, and it is nice. It reminds me of the Benefit Professional Primer. Primer, but a little more liquidy and it just really smooths out the skin so nicely and I'm just dragging the rest down my neck. This is very nice. Okay, um, have you guys ever seen Borat? Love that movie. So stupid, so funny. Love it. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to be using these two shades from CoverGirl. These are the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Love this foundation. So good. I love to mix these two shades together. And I think I'm going to mix them together just directly on my little beauty sponge. I'm going to do a pump of each. Oops, that wasn't that much. One pump of each shade on each, I mean, on my beauty blender. And then, where's my mirror? I'm sorry, this is not a beauty blender. It is a sponge, a beauty sponge from Real Techniques. But I'm just going to put that, just dab it on all over. And then I'm going to start blending it in. I love this foundation. It's so good. It is so good and it literally lasts all day. I haven't used it in a while because I've been using the Too Faced um, Born This Way foundation but this foundation is one of my favorite and it's a drugstore foundation so the price is right. And I just found that mixing these two shades together just gives me like the perfect shade for me. So yeah. That's why I do that. I'm kind of pasty right now, though. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use this one again. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24-Hour Concealer in the shade Light Cool Peach. And I love this concealer 
so much. I just think it's really good. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes to brighten up my under eye area. And I'm using the same sponge that I used for the foundation. Using a really light hand to blend this out. Yeah, you guys, I'm just so bad at doing like get ready with me. <laughs> like talking about life stuff while doing my makeup. I wish I was better. I really do wish I was better, but it's so hard because I'll be like, I'll forget what I'm saying or like where I was going with my point because I'm so focused on doing my makeup that I just can't talk about anything else but my makeup while I'm doing it. Oh no, my weak point. Um, I'm gonna apply some to my chin and my forehead also and then down the bridge of my nose. But yeah, I feel like there's so much I wanna talk about, but I'm only good at like talk through videos or like talking videos when I'm not doing my makeup. <laughs> Like, I could sit here and talk to you, no problem. But I cannot do my makeup and talk about life at the same time. Like, maybe if I was with my homegirl or something, I don't know. But it's just so hard for me. So, um, yeah, just blending this in. But I'm gonna be starting a series on my channel, which I don't know why I haven't started it yet, but, um, I wanna do, like, a story time series just for fun, like, tell you guys stories because you guys seem to like that, and I feel like it's a way for you guys to get to know me and just hear some fun, funny stories because I have a lot of fun, funny stories to tell, and I wanna tell them to you guys. So I'm excited to do that. I'm also kind of nervous. I don't know why, but it's so hard for me to open up on social media. I guess because I'm, like... I'm very private about my life. I am. So opening up is hard for me. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb. And this is a matte powder bronzer. I'm just going to use my little round tapered brush from Japanese to, I don't like this mirror, it's too small, to contour my cheekbones. I don't think I've ever used this bronzer. They have a different bronzer that I love. This one seems pretty nice too, actually. But um, I forget what the other one is. It's like Oscar, the Oscars, or like award show bronzer. I forget what it is, but it's really good. This one's pretty good too. I like the color also. So I'm just buffing this and just defining the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm also going to warm up the edges of my face as per usual. Mm, they're gardening right outside my window. That's nice. Okay, after I bronze my face, I'm going to go in with my setting powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade Fair Light. Love this setting powder. It's the best. Seriously, is the best. I'm just going to take a little bit on my Real Techniques sponge. This is the same sponge that I used earlier for foundation. I'm just gonna use this to clean up my contour area as well as bake a little bit. Love to clean up my nose contour with this. I think this is the favorite my favorite part of my makeup routine. I just feel like by this time, everything's coming together, everything looks nice. I'm also setting underneath my eyes, by the way. And then I'll set a little bit up here on my forehead, just using like whatever powder is left on my sponge. Very nice. Okay, cool. You guys, I really wanna buy a MAC book pro. Um, I have a Mac, but it's a desktop. It's like the big um, iMac or whatever. It's my first Mac, so yeah, I love it. I've always been like a PC girl, but I decided to go with a Mac for like video editing, and I love it so, so, so much, but I don't like that like I can only work in one specific location in my house. Um, by the way, I'm only going to let this powder sit for like a minute, so um, I'm going to take my big fluffy brush from Real Techniques and dust off this powder now but um so I love my Mac so much and I know it's just been so good to me I just love it but I want to get a MacBook now because I want to be able to like work wherever I want you know like downstairs or in my bed or on the couch or in the kitchen or at Starbucks or wherever the heck I decide I want to work you know what I mean but I'm afraid that I'm gonna get a MacBook and then like never use my Mac my iMac desktop and then I just feel like it's like a waste of money you know what I mean? Does anyone else have a desktop and a laptop? Like, do you use both? I'm afraid. I'm afraid I won't use both. I need to know because a freaking MacBook Pro is expensive. It's way more expensive than the iMac. It's like freaking $3,000 for a stupid freaking laptop, but I want one. <laughs> I want one so bad and I don't want the little one either. I want the like, the new one with the big screen. Okay, after I dust away all that powder, I'm gonna go in with the, I'm gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer 
highlighting powder, also from The Bomb. I like this highlighter. She's good. This is just like classic, the perfect highlighter in my opinion. Look how pretty that is. So gorgeous, just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm using the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. I'm also gonna highlight my forehead up here. I just like to highlight the highest points of my face and my chin, Cupid's bow, and then I'll take some of this on my finger. I will highlight the tip of my nose and then down the bridge of my nose as well. Okay, and then let's go in with some blush. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Hot Mama blush, also from The Bomb. This one's pretty because it has like a shimmer. I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of shimmery. And I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks. I'm using the Real Techniques, does this have a name? Blush brush. And I'm highlighting, I mean, I'm putting blush on the apples of my cheeks and also like bringing it out like this. I just like to do that. And then whatever is left on my brush, I will go over my chin just a bit. And then up here along my forehead, just to add some color, almost like a sun-kissed look. And then I will also tap some onto the top of my nose, just like this. Just to give a really, really super subtle, almost non-existent sun-kissed look. And I also like to go back in with my big fluffy brush and just kind of diffuse my blush. Just a tad. And I I'm not like rubbing, I'm just tapping. That looks nice. Okay, so we're almost done. Oh, let's go back into the eyes. Let's do the eyes. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use the same colors that I used on the top. I'm gonna use them on the bottom, guys. I'm gonna use <clears throat> this little M562 brush. I'm gonna start applying that purple shade to the outer portion. I'm gonna bring it up so it meets the shadow up top. I'm gonna dip into that darker purple shade that I used also and just place some of that down here as well. That actually looks better. And then I'm gonna go in with some of that pink. I'm gonna take it on this M433 brush, bring it into the center, going towards the inner corner and mixing it, blending it with that purple. And then I'm gonna take the all over shadow brush that I used earlier for the yellow and just place some yellow right down here. Finish off this look. Ooh, so good. Love this. I'm trying to be more exciting with my makeup, you guys. Cause like naturally I would not like go for looks like this. Not that I don't like looks like this, but you know, like usually I'm just so plain Jane. By nature, I'm just so plain Jane and boring. So I'm like brown, nude, gold, neutral tone, black. You know what I mean? I never go for like colorful looks, but I love colorful looks. So I'm trying to be more fun. I'm a cool mom. Who says that? It's from, what's that movie? Not the hot chick. Uh, mean Girls. I'm a cool mom. I am a cool mom you know what it's so funny once you become a mom or probably just once you become a grown-up you realize that grown-ups are freaking cool we're the coolest freaking people ever because we've like experienced life we're wise we're knowledgeable we've had fun you know what I mean like when you're younger you're like oh my mom's so dorky my dad's so dorky like no they're freaking not parents are the cool people of the world or like when you're a teenager you think you know everything <laughs> Oh my god. You think you're just the shit? You think your shit doesn't stink? You're just like, I'm the coolest freaking person ever. I know it all. My mom and dad are so, so boring, so dorky, but no. Moms and dads and grown-ups are like the original gangsters. You know what I mean? Moms and dads are OG. Okay. Obsessed with this eye look. So obsessed. It's so fun. Okay, um, mascara. I'm going to be using the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash. This is the mini. And I'm just going to coat the lower, the base of my false lashes. I'm going to give them a nice little coat to blend them in with the um, natural lashes. Giving them a nice little coat here. And then I'm also going to go in and place some mascara on my lower lash line. I'm only going to do it on the outer corner. And then I'm going to pull my lashes like outwards like that. Cute. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 12.37. I'm also so sorry if you could hear gardeners the whole time. I don't know if you could hear it. I'm pretty sure you can because um, when I'm editing my videos, I can hear like the planes flying over. Okay, so now we need lips. What should I do for lip? Probably something nude. Let's get some um, setting spray on. For setting spray, I'm going to be using this Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water from Smashbox. Um, this smells so good. 
I know it says primer water, but you can also use it as a setting spray. I like that. Okay, lips. What should I do for lips? Lips, lips, lips. I did not wear um, lip liner in my last video and it was all right but throughout the day like because I ended up wearing that makeup look I was like oh I need lip liner I need lip liner I just I'm not myself without lip liner okay for lip liner I'm gonna be using this lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner pencil in the shade iconic nude this is from charlotte tilbury um my favorite lip liner is not this one it's nyx natural lip liner but this one is like second best the color is nice okay so i'm just lining my lips giving them a little shape as well as just covering my entire lip with the pencil i like to use lip liner as like a nice little lip base and then after i apply that lip liner it's a little dark for me. That's why I like the NYX one better, but this one is all right. It's just a little dark. I think I want to use this lip gloss. This is from e.l.f. This is the Modern Metals Lip Gloss. It doesn't have, does it have a color? What color is it? Mm, I don't think there's like a name. I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's just this like beautiful, like gold shimmery lip gloss. So I'm going to try this one. Ooh, look how pretty that is. So pretty. And it'll match with the gold glitter on my eyes and it seems like a really good gloss it's not like too sticky you know some are like way too sticky this one's literally glossy and smooth Ooh, yeah this lip liner is a little darker than what I was hoping for but that's all right okay so this look is done you guys let me take out these hair clips okay I just decided to wear the hair clips anyways um but I did part my hair I need my hair done so bad. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. My hair is just not making me happy today. But um, anyways, that is it for this tutorial. I'm obsessed with this eye look. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up or just come tell me in the comment sections. Come say what up. I'd love to talk to you guys. I try and answer all my comments. So make sure you come talk to me there. Love to hear from you guys. And thank you so much for watching this video. Seriously, it means the world to me. You guys that support me, especially you that are there in my comment section like every single time I post a video. That is so rad. Thank you. I totally appreciate it and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Um, if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, so never mind this hairdo. I don't know what the heck is going on with my hair today. 